He's known among his colleagues and those whose lives he saved or helped to rebuild as Dr. Miracle. This is Congolese gynaecologist Dennis Mukwege working at the Panzi Hospital, which he established in the Democratic Republic of Congo. For two decades, he has tirelessly worked to treat and protect women who have suffered sexual violence, and he has risked his life doing so. In 2012, armed men stormed his home in South Kivu province, killing a member of his staff. Mukwege fled the country, but returned in 2013. My decision to come back to Bukavu was motivated by the fact that I was determined to pursue the fight against sexual violence, which is taking place in eastern Congo. The second reason was the determination of the Congolese women, whether it's women in the diaspora or women of the country. The demand and their calls were too strong for me to resist. The war in the DRC officially ended in 2003, but violence between government troops and rebels, some with foreign backing, continues, particularly in the mineral-rich east of the country. Mukwege has treated tens of thousands of rape victims, women, children, and even babies. The rebels proceeded to rape me in front of my children after they shot my husband. There were four of them, and after that, they inserted a gun inside my vagina, and that's how I got this condition. Mukwege has described rape as a weapon of mass destruction. The Norwegian Nobel Committee praised Mukwege for repeatedly condemning impunity for mass rape and criticizing the Congolese government and other countries for not doing enough to stop sexual violence against women as a strategy and weapon of war. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.